Leonardo, Dr. Frank, and the way that's so wonderful. So, ladies and gentlemen, yes, about from uh, the little hiccup, we know that uh, the family of uh, the groom and the family of the bride are now with us. So, we can go ahead and get started with some of uh, the event we have uh, tonight. So, moving ahead, ladies and gentlemen. Now that I have these two wonderful and colorful families seated, we're going to start our evening with an opening prayer. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we are calling on Reverend Agua to come and lead us in an opening prayer so we can get started. Father in heaven, you are the giver of all good and perfect gifts. He says in the word that he that finds a wife has found a family good thing and has obtained the truth of the Lord. We ask you, O oh God, that as it has pleased you, O oh Father, to bring these two people together, that they may find favor from you. We commit the entire celebration today to your hand. And we ask, Father, that you alone on all the glory. Thank you for everyone that is here. We pray that our stay here shall be a memorable one. And even when everyone here will be going back, your grace will take us back safely in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much, Governor Abu. As far as you are grateful for the inspiration of prayer tonight, I think uh, we are now assured that everything is going to be smooth. Yes. Um, uh, this is uh, very fantastic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we, you know, if you, like I said, if you have what we are doing before you, you see that we're going to make sure that we run past so that uh, we don't taste too much of the evening. So right now, what we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to go to uh, number six of what we're doing tonight, and that says, right, first and challenge to welcome guests. We are here for some people. We are here for a purpose. So what we're going to be having right now, we're going to see very beautiful, majestic, Elegant little guest following the bride. So she's not going to come out alone. Yes. Because you know, uh, in uh, Ibo land, when you are a king or a queen, you don't move alone. So the bride is going to come out to say welcome. And when she's going to be doing that, she's going to be coming with some people behind her, some of her cousins. When uh, Chips and the spoke at the beginning of this ceremony, Amaka was identified as coming from the royal family. That is correct. So when she's coming out, of course, that royalty will be displayed by her cousins. So uh, right now we have, we are waiting for the bride to come and say, Welcome to all of us who we'll come to be witness. So, uh, DJ, what you are seeing, ladies and gentlemen, is having a special attire for our baby. Oh, my God. 
see you the two the as far as the matter is concerned to me. But she just came to say, welcome, welcome, welcome. She's going to bring four different appearances tonight. So what you have seen is just the tip of the iceberg. Okay? We we'll promise you more fun. We'll promise you more entertainment. Like I said at the beginning, you are here last time. You're gonna, your evening is going to be worthwhile. So what we have right now? Going for this, the gentleman. Where are you going to be? The, the presentation of Colonel. This is another very important part of the ceremony because in Igbo land, southeast of Nigeria, Kola North means a lot. If somebody comes to your house and doesn't present and you don't give the person a Kola North, the person will feel very unwelcome. If I come to your house and you present a Kola North, even, though, even if I'm your enemy, that means there is a path to peace. So Kola North has very significant impact in the cultural spheres of the uh, Igbo land south east of Nigeria. So we're going to be presenting Kola North tonight. And to do that, when you come to somebody's house, the person that brings out the Kola North is the wife of the man. She brings the Kola North and gives it to her husband. And then the husband will do a presentation. So we're going to see that being displayed tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So we're calling on Dr. Pat Mugazami Quay. She's the mother of the day. She's the mother of the bride. She's going to be presenting for the nuns. And to do that, we have all the Umar dance. So she's going to have the confidence of well dressed elegant ladies doing that. So we call on Dr. Pat and the Queen, please. You have this beautiful, elegant visitors tonight in your hands.
in the from the area is the one which should be authorized to really present the coordinates to the rightful man who should present it to the gods. And without wasting, wasting more time, I will now take this call or not to our one and only Professor Austin Obu, who is the father of the Igbo people around this part of the world and who has been the father of the Igbo people from time. Who should rightly handle this or not without necessarily going through the, all the families? Now, Different cultures. There is usually 
a little bit of anxiety. As I told my good friend Spike two weeks ago, my four children are married to non-Africans, white Americans, and these four daughters-in-law are the joy of our lives. What well, wonderful time with these daughters of ours. And I would imagine the if shots you are going to have a wonderful daughter-in-law in our market. <laughs> Wearing it, 